Yeah, Blu-ray player. That looks like it's in pretty good shape too. Huh. I have to have a look at that at home. Although I think it's one that needs oh no, never mind. I was gonna say I think it needed a remote, but it's got manual controls. That's a nice little rig right there. I'll take that home and test it out. And if it works, I'll show it to you right now. It definitely works. Although my first impression was correct, I do need the remote control. Without the remote, there's no way to give it the command to play. It just gives this little no sign. All the buttons do that. So you can't go past there. With my DVD players, without the remotes, I've always been able to just press play and it'll go, but not this one. But that's a really nice machine. Uh, I'll just go ahead and buy a remote off Amazon for it and use it for myself. I don't know how to explain some of the stuff that gets thrown away. Especially that one with the cord just hanging out the front of the dumpster. Uh, it could be a number of situations. Someone mad, spending too much time playing video games, watching movies, that kind of stuff, you know. And if I didn't just show it to you, that means it's a piece of garbage and it's going to the scrapyard. textbook see the used stickers on there that means it came from a college or university bookstore generally uh, oh look at that little lithium ion bat uh, laptop batteries seen in a comment someone asking me about these saying that people can reuse these for different uses and stuff but I just uh, there's probably a laptop adapter right there I wonder if we're dealing with a laptop in here somewhere there used to be a scrapyard that would buy those lithium-ion batteries from me but they stopped doing that so now I've just been uh, holding on to them to put them in a shipment to boardsort.com. Um, unfortunately, they're kind of heavy for shipping, but uh, I don't see a laptop in there. You know, they make good filler, though. You know, I mean. pay shipping anyways so I don't know I haven't uh, actually shipped a load of those to the board sort yet so I don't know if they're uh, worth it to ship or not I'll find out though I've always understood it is that it's illegal to take stuff out of these green city recycle bins so I've always stayed away from them I'm not sure of the exact law but I'm fairly certain it's illegal to take stuff out of there Someone put this garbage in my stash hole. If that keeps happening, I'm not going to be able to use that place. I don't want nothing to do with it if that starts happening. But, uh, I don't think that this, this pan, this aluminum pan and stuff, actually, that's a nice little pan. Um, <laughs> that would 
probably clean up nice too. Those little copper copper deals are nice cooking pans. I suppose if I took it for my own use, it wouldn't really be a problem, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That would clean up nice. Ah, uh, shoot. Dilemma. What if I take it for my own personal cooking use? Would that be... Would that be illegal? I, I just thought of something. This place here where I live is listed on Craigslist as a uh, four bedroom house. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a bunch of individual rental units. Uh, I suppose there might be four bedrooms in there. Anyways, if you're ever looking for places to rent on Craigslist, be real careful when they reply with an email saying they're out of town. And it's a big long email. Because <laughs> it ends up they want you to send them some money. The deposit, the first month's rent. And after they get that, then they'll mail you the key and then you can move in. So that's all a scam. There's a nice little, little phone, Motorola. It's nice. It's... Ship deck to board sword. Oh, look at that. Hey, what are we running into here, old Blackberry? All right, kinds of goodies in here. A little, found a little goodie bag. Uh, I'm gonna show you all those. That's a pack of pencils. And I think that's gonna do it for that box. score that's a real heavy phone there I'll look at selling these on eBay if there's any value I'll do that if not I'll just throw them in my shipment to board sort throwing them into my shipment to board sort those would be valued at about two dollars three dollars based on their weight Oh, and those were nice little speakers, I didn't say. Um, I'll have a look at those, see if they might be usable for myself. I find a lot of speakers like that. They generally just go to the scrapyard. But, uh, ah, shoot. I really want that copper pan. They just cook so nice. <coughs> But it's in that city recycle bin, so I guess I'll just leave it alone. Oops.
I know I got a bunch of stuff to get rid of. That's a little bit too much. <laughs> Well, sheesh, I lost the sticker. Okay then. That's heavy, heavy dude. It's probably cat poo. Piece of stainless. <clears throat> Something is vibrating down there. Not anymore. Let's see. I suppose that'll go away when I get the throttle going. Big old fridge in there. This is actually a little... Huh. I don't want to bore the people that watch my videos, but I used to take those compressors and stuff out of there and that copper, but I stopped doing it. I don't know if it's legal or not, so... I'd like to find some textbooks. I've had a serious textbook shortage this year. Um, I haven't really been hitting this university area the way I should to score textbooks during the summer. So I made a comment a while back, uh, just a couple days ago actually, about uh, textbook selling seasons coming up, and it is. And I didn't find that many this summer. So hopefully all the old ones I have listed from last year will get sold, or at least some of them. What's this? 
does that belong to? That is a nice chunky little cord. What is that thing? Filter pump. Huh. Probably got a nice little motor in there, I suppose. <laughs> Made too good for that. <laughs> Uber slash lift. I didn't know you could be an Uber and a lift. Did you guys know you can do both at the same time? A little uh, coat wreck. Oh, it's missing a deal. Someone might want that. Busy street right there. Let that be seen. Never know. Uh, it's not a bad pair of jeans, it's not it's ripped up. A little too far gone for my taste. Not for my taste, but for resale. Big old TV in there. Looks like a 60 inch jobby. There's a microwave down there too. Screwdriver buried. Little nails or tire poppers. So just put those back in the dumpster. They can pop out of my tote, maybe fall onto the street. So 
Dumpster's a good spot for them. So I can put the screwdriver up here because it rattles. It's annoying to listen to my camera. So uh, I have to figure out something to do with that. for the bunsy. Excuse me. This lamp I'm going to hold on to before I rip it up because See these white shades and bendable wherever you want it those are good for taking pictures of stuff you sell on ebay or if you're in your living room and it's kind of dark and you're making videos for youtube these little white shades on here and the fact that you can point them wherever you want them you know and then when you're done you can just go like that and it's your lamp in your house uh i hope that really i really hope that works I have a small one like that and it works really nice. I'd like to add that big five 
five uh, spread light to there. That would be good. Uh, hmm. I don't see anything. It's missing the knob, but it sounds like it's gonna switch. Sounds like it's all right. I guess I'll find out. Because <clears throat> with this, uh, you know, it's not just one bright light and it's creating a shadow. You can point it different directions and get rid of shadows and whatnot. What's up, man? Get it balanced right. There it is. All these flies trapped in here. Watch this. <laughs> Yuck. What is that? Something nasty. Okay. These actually have nice um, metal screens in them, and I'm going to actually use those for my new turtle aquarium. Um, shoot, I don't know if I should just leave them in there, or what. Uh, you know what, um, I might just leave those in there the way they are, and think about how I could use those on top of my turtle tank. I got a 70 gallon aquarium, and screens like that are nice for so foreign objects don't fall down in the water, you know. So, uh. I'm actually gonna head to my storage unit right now since I got this type of stuff. Good usable stuff I don't wanna bust up and it's kinda hard to carry so I'm gonna go drop this off. I got some other errands I gotta run too. Spur. That's full too. Car radio. I'm seeing in the comments a lot of people are telling me that you always used to say Yahtzee! And I stopped saying it and they don't like it. So <laughs> that's for you. And I gotta get out of here. Can't hang upside down too long. That's a nice little box of stuff right there. Let's see. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's nice insulated copper for sure. Bread and butter. And uh, let's see. Hey, I think that's a. No, it's not. It's a piece of 
stainless steel. I thought it might have been a magnet. Let's see. More pennies. bits <laughs> hot plate old uh, Craig car radio that's an old one too that's probably 70s I bet Heavy dog. I'll see if it's gonna go with stainless or tin. Uh, it's gonna be a dirty stainless. Uh, it's just gonna go with tin, actually. Fix the flat. I think that one's empty though. Too empty, I suppose. That's the problem I have with scratchers. If they're empty, they'll take them. If there's a little bit in them, they won't. Plus, if there's a little bit in it, I don't think that's any good to anybody. You never know though, I suppose. I'll set it up by the curb somewhere. dumpster so there's a chance it could be something good hiding in here that I normally wouldn't look for but see that's just nasty garbage it's like I thought it would be there's a bunch of mason jars now they're full of full of vomit though <laughs> all right yeah so just Trusted my gut, I suppose, and just not even got in there and left. <laughs> That's just a little tiny nick, it's nothing. Been a while since I've done that. Hopefully that sign is aluminum. There's something you don't see every day. I actually live right across the street from this place. I wonder if they want that back or not. I have a feeling that's probably not supposed to be in there. Hey, the sign's aluminum. I'll uh, see if they want it back, and if they don't, then uh, I'll have that. It's a nice piece of aluminum on there. That's a real nice sign. Let's see if they want that or not.
I think that's Foghorn Leghorn. <laughs> no, something similar though. <laughs> All right, oh, look at that. Felt like I was missing something. A slingshot. I'm broken. Okay, that's enough. Oh. Micro USB dealies. <sighs> that answers that. I said I'd take that to a bank too, don't I? <laughs> See, you can see why I can't be in the business of taking all that stuff I find and donating it and do all that. It's just way too overwhelming amount of stuff to do. I just got my AdSense payment today from my YouTube videos. If you notice, I got that scooter this time last month. So I very appreciate everyone that watches my channel. I came here the other day and looked at tents. I found one that's really cheap and big. Let's go have a look at it. So I was here the other day and I was looking at this one. It's actually a 10 person tent. 140 square feet. <laughs> I want to go camping in comfort. I don't want to be all smushed down and hunched over and can't stand up. No fun in that. This one looks like it's pretty nice too. I'm not sure how much it is though. I think that's the one for me. It's fairly lightweight. Uh, I mean, it's heavy, but some of these other big ones, like this one here, sleeps 10 as well. But look how big that thing is. <laughs> I'm not gonna carry that thing on a scooter, it weighs 150 pounds almost. The same size tent, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, sheesh. I can't imagine. It's got an extra screened in roof, but the tent itself is the same size. And this is my kind of deal, so. There's not a price tag on it. I'm gonna go see how much it is. Oh, that's nice. For as big as it is, it's really lightweight. Turned out to be $160. That's a little more than I want to spend. I wish there was some these places, they're on the wrong place. That's not even the right price tag on that one. I might have to go with this eight person tent. That's on sale for $125. It says it's 10 feet by 17 feet, which would actually make it bigger than these 10 person tents. That was 10 feet by 14 feet. 10 feet by 14 feet. Unless I'm reading that wrong, it says 10 by 17 feet. Smaller, lighter, cheaper, 
and it's supposedly bigger. Hope you enjoyed riding along with me. About doing something like Hope this. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's and a, as always, it's a name thanks for trust. watching. You know what I mean? I've never had experience with that brand. This is a nice TV show, but I don't know what kind of product it is. I'm sure it's good. Cheaper, lighter, bigger. Coleman. Name recognition's winning out here, folks. That's what advertising does for you. <laughs> or that's what that's what having your name known does for you. Anyway, I just can't see spending $160 on a tent. $125 is expensive, for sure. But $125 is better than $160.